Welcome back, it's Tuesday, let's do this. All right, today's topic is dynamic range, shooting in log, and picture profiles. What's the best for you, and what's gonna give you the best picture and the best settings based on the camera that you have? So let's throw two minutes on the clock. Let's go. So what is a picture profile? Now all cameras ship with these predetermined picture styles, right? So if you're shooting landscapes, it's saying, hey, this is the best settings for landscape. This is the best for portraits, so on and so forth. Those picture profiles have different settings within them that capture images differently. Now what's really popular, and I'm sure you've heard of it, is shooting your footage in a flat profile, something called log. I shoot Canon, so they call it C-Log. What does that mean? Well, at first sight, it looks like this, and it doesn't look the best. You might say, ugh, there's no contrast, no saturation, it's like gray, and just that picture style is the best to shoot on if you want the most cinematic looking footage, because it's exposing that picture, it's capturing that information, the light, the detail, and the shadows, and the highlights better and more even than anything else. So shooting in a flat profile, basically means it's capturing that image at a higher dynamic range. Now, what is dynamic range? So picture this, when you go outside and you just look at something, doesn't matter what it is, you see the shadows, you see the highlights, nothing's blown out. You don't step outside and go, hmm, the sky looks blown out today. Like you can see everything perfectly, but cameras can't, right? The dynamic range is only so much on camera bodies that they have to choose. Am I gonna expose for the shadows or the highlights? So if you expose for the highlights, then the shadows are too dark. If you expose for the shadows so that you can see what's in the those shadows, the sky's blown out. Cameras with a higher dynamic range and the ability to shoot in a log format are gonna give you the best possible outcome to expose both the shadows and the highlights evenly. So yes, log footage does look terrible when you're shooting it in person. It's hard to kind of get focus. It's a little difficult to see. However, when you're grading it in post, there's so much more information there and the dynamic range is far superior from a DSLR or a mirrorless that that footage ends up looking so much better. The more dynamic range that a camera can achieve, the more cinematic it's going to look. That's why these cinema cameras are so expensive because they're able to achieve a much higher dynamic range than our cell phones, than our DSLRs, than our mirrorless cameras. So what if you say, I, my camera doesn't have a log profile, how do I shoot it? Well, all you got to do is you can kind of fake your own. You can go into the picture styles and drop the saturation, drop the contrast, drop the sharpness, and kind of create your own flat profile. That way your camera's going to capture more of that detail in the sky and the shadows so on and so forth and then you can kind of color grade that and bring it back to life in post just recently I was at Canon Canada and they introduced log into the 5d mark 4 they updated the firmware for me and I can say it looks great there's just something more cinematic about it and being able to capture that extra dynamic range in the detail in the sky and the shadows just makes for a more pleasing image so if your camera can shoot in a log format I recommend it if it doesn't Try to fake it like we talked about. But that's all for me today, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope it explains some stuff about the things I've been shooting in the past here on this channel. I love all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I'll see you guys next week. forgot about this time lapse for like two seconds I was like oh, I forgot my camera I guess I'm in the right spot to forget a camera Woo -hoo.